What's up, America? Neil here from Jocko Farms Academy. Thanks for watching. We are now into lesson seven, okay? Lesson seven of Kim's uh, sessions here. So we're seven, eight weeks out. That puts us about uh, two months. So if we're doing this for at least a six month period, at minimum, we're a third of the way through. So we're gonna work on some details today. When we look at training or uh, from an instructor point of view and you look at a student's progress, we just automatically assume that you're gonna you're going to start here and it's going to gradually continue to go up. But that's not the case. There's going to be setbacks along the way, things that a student will do really well and excel at, excel at and things that uh, we're going to need to spend more time with. So I'm super, super happy with uh, Kim's progress. But what I want to do now at this point, instead of continuing working on specifically concealment and the draw, is I really want to go back a step to the basic fundamentals of marksmanship and accuracy and really see if we can't really dial in that precision. All right, Kim, so now uh, from the student's perspective, it's again a third of the time has gone by so far, and so where do you think you're at? What do you think you want to work on more? You tell me how you see it. I feel like I'm finally making progress. Like I can just quickly find my sights and really working on that trigger pull because I think that was the key to um, having better accuracy. Even when I was drawing from the holster and you want to be a little faster, it's so important to just take that extra half second to you know, not jerk the trigger and put you off target. All right, so you feel good about taking a, a review of the fundamentals again? I'm ready. All right, <laughs> let's get this going. Break it down again, very fundamental at this point. What we're gonna do here, I'm gonna establish that good high grip, so my rear hand's up very, very high, right behind that tang, no space underneath the trigger guard. I'm of course gonna have both hands come together, so I have my thumbs forward, I'm really controlling the gun. Okay, I'm gonna have my weight forward. Some like to say nose over toes, or I always say if you were a shortstop in a baseball game, how would you stand, right? So kind of athletic stance, so your weight's forward. I'm gonna come out to my target. I'm gonna focus on my front sight. Obviously, I'm aligning my sight, so I'm focusing the front sight. I'm taking the slack out of the trigger, and I'm slowly adding pressure until that gun goes off, okay? Slowly adding pressure until the gun goes off. I've got a nice, strong grip on this. This is not moving, okay? So let's see what this looks like live fire. All right, Kim, so let's walk through this together here. So again, establish my good grip. I got a nice stance here, right? Weights forward. When I come out to the gun, or to the target, I'm lining both my sights up. I'm taking the slack out of the and let it go, okay? Focus on the front side. As soon as that gun goes off, the next thing in my mind is getting that front sight back on target and resetting my trigger for the next shot. And I'm gonna keep doing this. Okay. Questions? Nope. We're good. Why don't you grab the camera real quick and show the uh, shot placement there so that they can see that. So by just keeping that trigger steady, you know I got probably about two inch little group there. That's all I'm looking for. Whenever you're ready, take your time, nice and slow. This is just the fundamentals. So how many did you get on that one? Bad. How many did you get? I think two. Two. All right. That's what I'm looking for, actually. So that's good news. Actually, that's what we were looking for. So out of six rounds, you hit two. That's 30% hit ratio. Okay. So that's our baseline for today. So I, at the end of this, we're going to do the same six rounds again from the same exact distance, which is about, uh, give or take, about 10 yards here. Okay. And we're going to see if we can improve that in just one session. Okay? okay, so we got to beat that. So first off, let's do some dry fire practice because as we all know, that's the most important. So go ahead and rock that slide forward and let's do all the things we normally do. Bend your knees, weight forward, excellent. There you go, stay there. So slowly press the trigger. There we go, keep going. You got to get a nice strong grip on there. Excellent. Let's look at your trigger finger here. Let me see if I can get the camera to focus here. So slowly press it back. There you go. Now see you didn't move that one at all. So if we just do that, go ahead. Now are you focusing on your front side here? Mm -hmm. So in your case, 
We got a nice green fiber optic up there. Why can't I get this camera to focus? But that's okay. All right. How's that feel? Good. Good? Stay focused. Now, the gun is going to go off, so bang. The next thing goes through your mind is what? Getting to that front sight again. Front sight right back on target. We're not worried about that. As soon as we get the front sight back on target, what are we doing with the trigger? Slightly let go of the slack. You're taking out the slack, and then we're going to hit that wall. And what happens once we hit the wall? Oh, we put pressure. There we go. Reload. Reload. We've put some rounds down range. We're talking about the fundamentals specifically. So of the fundamentals, what do you what do you find that you're struggling the most with or what do you want the most uh, help with, if anything at all? Sometimes I have that anticipation and I need to not have that. I, I see myself like jerk and I'm like, why did I do that? I just need to relax and breathe and take it easy and really focus on the trigger. I think that's what's most important for me. Now, one of the key things though you said is I realized that I did that, right? Mm -hmm. So if you realize that you made an error and then you did something to try to correct it, that's fantastic. That means we've recognized an issue and we're going to try to put a, a plan in, into action to fix that. So that's good. So we know that that uh, is not just your issue, but that's countless uh, new shooters' issues and will always will be, all right? Mm -hmm. Just a human reaction. So let's work a little bit on that. We'll put some more rounds down range, and then we'll go back and see if we've actually improved our shooting ratio. Reload, reload, go, go, go. Cam, so go ahead and let your slide go forward now. Now take your loaded magazine and put it in there. Insert. All right, let's go. Put yourself out there, your gun out there. There we go, that was a good one. So since that was a good one, go ahead and give it a full rack now. Let's do this. Let's try that one again. Put that one back out there. Better. Now rack it. Excellent. All, right, all the fundamentals, let's put them together. Nose over toes. There you go. All 
All right, four out of six there. Better. Way better than the 30% we had before. I just missed the last one. So there we go. So that's uh, proof is in the pudding, as they say, right? Yep. So there we go. We did some dry fire practice. We took our time, broke it down, and we increased our hit ratio significantly yep. in just one session. We uh, did some improvements. How do you how did you say the session went? It went well. I started off missing quite a few, <laughs> and then I got better as we practiced. And what do you think was the uh, big difference? What changed your uh, success there, should we say? It's just going back to the fundamentals. It all goes back to, you know, all the basic steps that you have to remember to do each time. Okay, very good. Thanks for watching, and if you haven't done so already, please subscribe. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. You can also now find us on Facebook. Please look for our page, Yaga Firearms Academy. And until next time, remember, it's always better to be judged by 12 than carried by 6. <laughs>